Hey, what's up, Galaxy? Nice to see you, as always. This game is the shit, really? Good to hear. Good to hear. Does that link actually work? Okay, it does. Very cool. <laughs> you are speed. Hey, Dream Eater. Hey, Tamiya, uh, let's see. Tay, I forget how to say your name. Is it Tay? Uh, can I just call you Tay? Or is that, is that, is that not pronouncing it right? Hey, Rubik Toby, Nolan, Green Patriot, Ghostly, wow. Oh, and Cookie in the Face. You're Cookie in the Face. Okay, so you are, actually are all regulars. Nice to see you guys. Nice to effing see you guys. Oh, man. Hey, and Dalton Young. It, the controls are wonky shit. You can't con change the controller layout. Well, I mean, like it is a beta, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume some things are just beta issues. So classic modern. Is there like a um? Okay, so we have loadouts. Okay. Okay, I didn't know there was loadouts in this game. That's actually kind of cool. So you pick like a gun and then. So if I want to use that M4 with like a close range sight. Okay, so this is very bare bones right now. There's a lot of different desert eagles. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey post. Uh, it's, everything's going pretty good. Hey Jalen. I think your name's Jalen. If I pronounce that right. Hey, Devin. Also, terrible sound. Oh, from my end? You're gonna tell you fall asleep? Alright, Jason, that's fine with me. Classic is like SND on big maps? Gotcha. Is the beta free? Yes. Wait, never mind. Just got the jump. <laughs> Devin over here. Alright, so let's play modern. Let's, uh... That's it, play. Let's see if anyone else is playing. I don't have super high hopes. Um, if it's better than Warface, I'll be happy. Because I'm not really a fan of Warface. But why is it only for Xbox? I really don't know. It's kind of a weird Xbox exclusive to have. Like, I never thought that a, cross, a version of Crossfire would be, like, Xbox only. Uh, I have not seen Gamer Boy's new video. Okay. Go, get moving. Okay. Okay. Feels a little weird. But okay, there's like a bomb site right here. RB to throw a frag grenade. Oh, okay, so does the Counter-Strike go, I have to rack the, the the slide every time I pull a grenade out? Okay, that's kind of lame. It's not... Okay, so this is interesting so far. Okay, that does feel like shit. Okay, um... Oh, option? Controller, okay. Let's turn on that stick sensitivity. Um, vertical. Stick and vertical? Wait, what? Why? Okay, why is it labeled that way? Okay, ADS sensitivity. I don't know if this is a percentage case. Okay, relative. Okay, good. We are securing a. Okay, okay. Well, let's uh, let us resume. Okay, that feels a little bit more controllable for me. It definitely has some, like, weird... I think that's linear. I think that's linear, yeah. Because that doesn't seem to, like, speed up anymore as I rotate. I feel like that's taking my raw input. Translation errors all over this? Interesting. Good to know. Okay. 
very weird. I will say, pointing and shooting at somebody is not as intuitive as I would like. It sort of feels a little clunk sauce, but it, we'll get used to it, right? Time to get my vengeance on this guy. Oh, crap, that time to kill is... I think he was getting injured by my teammate, actually. I'm guessing the time to kill isn't that fast. Oh, ow, okay. Tactical growth? What the fuck? Okay. Okay, so now my HP recovers. That's interesting. Ooh, aiming sh aiming feels bad, dude. All right, we'll have to get used to that, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay, so I just got one-shotted. Uh, I thought I was going to regain some health or something. I'll try the AK out. You know, so far I'm, I'm a little intrigued. Kind of a basic bare bones sort of deal. So what's the time to kill like? In, there's only recoil in classic mode. Weird. Okay. Headshots are instant, but doesn't show headshot symbols. Oh, neat. Okay, so when I just get I just get one tap, then that's probably what happened, huh? Okay. I guess that's good to know. Let's see if I can uh, win a gunfight where I, I when I aim and shoot first and like not feel like shit. Okay, bam. Okay, that's a kill. Oh, I'm getting shot from the side. Oh, he was trying to melee me. That's interesting. Okay, so I have. Oh, that's a smoke grenade. I don't think I wanted to throw that. Okay. Sorry I'm not pay paying attention to the chat right now, kids. I'm just trying to focus on the game right now. Oh, okay. I feel like there is a zero aim assist, which is a little fucky. I would prefer some nice slowdown compared to just uh, nothing. Because I, I play shooters that have a little bit of slowdown. And sensitivities are hard to control on analog sticks, you know? At least for me. When I, I guess if I was playing a lot of Siege recently, I wouldn't have, a tro wouldn't have trouble. Because I can, I can play Siege on console pretty good when I get in the headspace for it. And that doesn't have any aim assist, so it's not like a it's not a it's not a necessity, but it sort of feels absent in sort of this is more twitchy though. Siege is a lot of like angle holding and like being prepared. Okay, that's a kill. That's a kill. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's let's want to maybe we can be a dope sniper. Ah, somebody killed him before I could. What is this tactical growth thing? Siege has no aim assist. Uh, yeah, Siege has zero aim assist. Crazy, right? Maybe. Uh, oh, there's a little mouse. There is a little mouse cursor there, isn't there? That is weird. I didn't even notice that until just now. I opened that menu up earlier. Oh, thought I shot. Because this isn't like a PC, this isn't like a port of a PC game, though. I mean, this time to kill is sus. It's a little satisfying to get a kill, but like, I don't know. Okay, okay so I guess we uh, we zip line down here? Okay, that's kind of cool. Um. Oh, hip firing feels a little bit better than aiming down sight. We a. It's a little bit easier to control. Enemy is on alpha. We are taking Bravo. It's definitely not like a 4K game, but it it definitely looks pretty good, graphics wise. Yeah, I don't like aim assist on snipers either, but for like close range hip firing engagements, that's where like. 
Really close range engagements are the only places that like aim assist even helps. Hey, Twinkle Toes, thanks for the two dollars, man. And yeah, I'd say you're heckling pretty well. First dono of the stream, man. Yeah, see, like in those engagements there, that feels kind of shitty. I have elite control. You can't kill me. Damn it, you killed me. Yeah, thanks again, Twinkle Toes. I appreciate it. You know me. I appreciate. I appreciate you. Ah, uh, boo. Am I heckling correctly? Ah, uh, boo. I like this map, honestly. At least in terms of like aesthetics. Oh god, that guy was moving fast. What the hell is that? How do you move? Oh, you can like increase your uh, speed. Ooh, got him. All right. I can take on the whole fucking empire right now. I have the reaction time of a cat with a blindfold on. Sniper feels fucking strong as hell. How's this Glock feel, though? If, if somebody tries to square up on me, can I just... Oh, it's burst! Why are you burst? Oh, I got the hit! Oh, I got it. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, try to, like, rack my brain over what this game is like. It kind of reminds me of Counter-Strike, but it also kind of... You know what? Honestly, this reminds me a lot of AVA. Guys, you should look up AVA on, on YouTube right now. I think it's Alliance of the Valiant Arms. This reminds me a lot of that. I'm getting sort of used to this. Aw, oh, they won. It's kind of a generic shooter, but so far it has my it has my interest. I ha I got 15 kills and 10 deaths. So, okay. I don't think X is a, is is X already on like Chinese computers because I'm almost positive that it's not. I thought this was, I thought this was a different thing because I know the original Crossfire has been out for a long time, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's free. It only takes up five gigabytes. If you're on Xbox, I recommend you play it. Yeah, I think it's... I don't know if it's coming. It's, it's probably going to be on PC later. So, our objective is just to capture points. So, right now. And then the next one, apparently, everyone says it's, like, kind of like SND. Which I'm not really. I'm not gonna do like any sort of like no respawn mode without friends, unfortunately. It's just not how I roll. Cause I can't. I can't even like aim and shoot consistently yet. So I'm not gonna try to play a game mode where I can't respawn. Okay, there's no like slide or anything. It's fine. It doesn't. I'm actually kind of okay with a shooter that doesn't have slide at this point. Damn, you die fast. It's a, it's kind of weird because this game, like, the beta just came out today, and I feel like I'm playing against people that have, like, no trouble at all. Like, they have, they're not even learning it. They're just, like, they're good. It's fine, though. I'm sure this, I'm sure this game has intense skill-based matchmaking, right, guys? I'm not sure if it's hit scan or projectile. It kind of feels project. Oh, I guess my teammate is either dead or something because they just ran right past where he was. Oh, there's some recoil on this motherfucker. No, keep challenging. No, I I, I just have an LMG, so just. Oh, okay. So you do that to pull out your knife. That's interesting that, like, clicking the melee button pulls out your knife to, like, use that way. Oh, double kill. 
Okay, yeah, so I think it is one-shot headshots. Either that or this game has a ridiculously fast TTK. Come on. Sound design is certainly lacking, though. Nice snipe, teammate. This game's kind of cool. Like, I, I think it could definitely do better to have more settings, that's for sure. This LMG feels like super noob friendly. <laughs> So far, I like this more than COD Mobile. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of frame rate issue going on right now, which seems weird for a game of this caliber. Especially a game that's not even pushing for like 4K on the Xbox One X. There's really no reason I should be having a frame drop right now. But here we are, having a frame drop. The studio said it isn't coming to PC? Interesting. Oh, there you are. I can't aim. I'll try the AK out for a sec. Can I put the sight on somebody and shoot them with it? I want to maybe get like some... I want to try hip firing because hip firing felt pretty good. Nope. Wow, you just die. Yeah, frame drops not swag indeed. That is a that is a pretty big no-no. This is there's not enough going on here to lag an Xbox One X. I'm sorry. Not at, not at these resolutions. What? Yeah. What? What? Okay. What is? Oh, okay. That's a little annoying. You know, sort of like putting your sight on somebody and then like pulling the trigger and them not dying. Happens in every shooter, but I can't trust this game because it's not... You know, it's... Okay, I got a shield apparently. I guess I'll try this out. I don't know if I like this whole tactical growth situation. What the fuck is this? What the, what, what the fuck is tactical growth? Uh, what is that? That is like six hit markers on one dude's upper chest with a pistol? I almost feel like I mixed in a couple headshots in there. That's not a kill. The time to kill is that fast, but that wasn't a kill. Okie dokie. I, I don't even know what the fuck. I don't... I don't even... I... I... I, I I don't know what the fuck happened there. We got a. I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking actual clue what just happened. I I got I got shot. Oh hello Montaigne. Let's see. So now I move faster. Okay, now I have a deagle. Oh, my deagle is my secondary. Okay. Let's run up and uh, blast somebody with this deagle. Ah! Wait, was that a really sticky aim assist? Weird. I felt aim assist there for a second. Does this game have it or not? That's kind of a cool concept, though, to like have to like rush to the next part of the map. Kind of like the uh, the volcano going off. Wow, you just kind of die. Y you just kind of die. Like I know that sounds like whiny, but like I guess you guys are seeing this right, where you're just like you're just dead. <laughs> like you don't like it. Doesn't even feel like I get shot. It's just like I have gotten shot a couple times, and I've definitely been able to notice those. But like for the most part, I just feel like my deaths come down to. Um, 
I guess I got hit. I got an assist, okay. Juan Deegs. Damn, I'm just dead. Like, there's not much to do there. Okay, can I get rid of this fucking stupid shield, please? Okay, how do you get rid of the stupid shield? I don't like it at all. I want to have my rifle back. I don't think I can have my rifle anymore. I'm, I died, I guess. It's weird, like, the game just ends when you, when you get hit. Okay, there's the... I think, honestly, building a game like this for console is really smart, actually, because this is kind of an untapped market on console. PC has way too many games like this. Like, who gives a shit if this comes out on PC, honestly? You could have been playing, um, I mean, over the years, like, Operation 7, AVA, uh, Combat Arms, Counter-Strike, uh, Warface. You know, those have been on PC for years now. Whereas, like, console has Warface and this now. So, like, I kind of feel like this should definitely be console-centered. I feel like more games like, like, console needs more variety. That's my honest opinion, Zach. Like, console needs more variety in its shooters. Because console has a problem with, like... Uh, what is that? It feels like shit! Oh, okay. That was bad. There we go. There's a lot of input lag, I'm noticing. Uh, when I throw, like, grenades and stuff, I hit the button, and it's just, like, a year passes, and then he starts the animation to pull it out. Which I consider a down a downside. Yeah, tactical growth is definitely, like, giving me stuff for getting kills, for sure. Oh, no, I get it. I just, like, I don't like it. Okay. Has Siege console uh, input lag ever really been proven? Because I've never really noticed it. Yes, this game is free. Are you sure you're not using Stadia? I really hope I'm not. Yeah, no, Warface controls like garbage on console. It really does. But like, again, make a game like this refined for console. Like in the same way that like Battlefield and Call of Duty like are refined for console at this point. Or like the way Halo is. That'd be awesome. Because, again, like, console just needs more variety. I love my Xbox, but, man, like, in terms of, like, shooters, like, you're kind of stuck with, like, the same kind of uh, stuff over and over and over. Let's use the Scar. Yeah, I have two options. Those are those and that. I like how it's just, like, a bunch of Desert Eagles and a bunch of Glocks. <laughs> um, can I get rid of the scope? Okay, so you cannot get rid of the scope. So you have to have a sight. Cringe. Okay, I'm going to do close range on that then. Long range sniper scope. Okay. Why is the secondary weapon empty? Oh, do you only have a finite number of guns you can select? That's interesting. I'm getting the gunplay down a little bit, but for the most part... Like, this is a this is low content even for a beta. Like, the fact that there isn't, like, two maps is kind of annoying. Like, classic, I would play. I just don't want to do a no-respawn mode where I can barely win a gunfight. I, that'll just be me dying and spectating. That's not really something I want to do. Hey, Jake, what's up? COD, Battlefield, Titanfall. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. You don't have Gears of War. You don't have Halo. Uh, you have Killzone, but I guess you can have fun looking for a lobby there. Why do I feel like I loaded in, like, way too fast? This whole rack to slide every time you switch thing is very CSGO and is completely unnecessary. I would honestly dock at a point for that. 
It just makes the game feel a little less snappy. Cool. Okay. A little bit of lag spikes. I'm okay with... Okay. So I think other people are having trouble with the aiming a little bit too. We got a triple. You can crouch spam like a motherfucker. Right into a headshot. A shooter set in medieval times? Uh, so, Mortau or what? Because there are first person like games that are like competitive games set in medieval times. And I've heard they're actually very fun. Oi, mate. You won't, you won't get some. Hey, there you go. I'm having my fucking grenade, yeah? You want to hold my scar, yeah? You want to get a little... Hey, don't shoot me in the side, no? Whoever shoots me is a fucking cunt, yeah? Are you having a laugh? Are you having a bit of a goof? Guess I'll play the objective here for some stupid reason. Oh, I can increase my fire rate! Oh my god, these kills. Also, these micro stutters. Oof. Oh, I didn't want this. Actually, that's actually okay because I don't have any ammo. This pistol does zero damage. I'm actually considering making the claim that it actually. I got a kill with it. Never mind. It's fine. Be oh, best gun in the game. Uh oh. Uh oh. He tried to do the little flanker maneuver on me. That won't work on me, sir. All right. You what? You didn't think a girl could play video games? Ha! I've shown you something. Ow! Ah! That was an amazing spawn. What is this modern warfare? <laughs> So how long do I have to hold objectives? Because, like, I would rather, like, not have the fact that I captured that B for nothing. I'm having a left stick aim with this because it feels kind of trashy. There we go. It is certainly not a snappy game, but it is something I am able to somehow adjust to. So, that's interesting. I'm definitely... I'm definitely struggling a little bit on some simple some simple aiming, but like... Oh, I have this shitty Glock, damn it. So if I had that Deagle, that Deagle did some damage. Hey, Josh the Sniper, what's up, man? I could see sniping being very nasty in this game. We are taking B. We captured Alpha. Like, honestly, maybe too nasty. Because, like, I feel... I feel like I don't even have to, like, hit an upper chest shot for it to kill. Like, that just feels like I click on them and they're done. It's not dissatisfying or anything. But, uh... Oh, global risk. I thought my, I was, I thought my team was the globalists. So I was like, ew. Globalism. Oh, sorry. Uh, whack. That's nice. My teammate said, good shot, bro. Just wait until I uh, slice and dice your friend here. What are you doing? You're silly. Get back here. No, get back here. 
What are you doing? No, you're getting... You're coming with me. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't fuck with the knife, boys. That was great. <laughs> Looks like the hip fire is random. What the fuck? He just exploded. I almost did the the everybody in Uganda knows kung fu. What's the fuck? <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Watch this little loser. He's gonna get on it. I'm gonna wait for him to grab it. <laughs> That's so stupid. All right, I'll write it down. I hope I die doing it now. No, I guess I'm good. Boom toxic. I know, right? Oh my god. Movement speed improves. Dude, my movement speed's improved. I'm nailing people. I got the I got the response curve down already. I'm gaming, guys. Dude, I'm doing it. Is this how you play video games? What have I been doing? Hey, yo, what the hell? Yo, what the hell? What? That guy is so fast. I'm scared. Is, there, is that bullet coming through? Oh, there he is. I'm letting that enemy live. He's too fast, man. I don't want to go up. I want to face somebody that can move that fast. I, I, I was not. I was not brought into this conflict to fight the fucking Flash. All right. Should we use a shotgun or should like the menu lock up and not let me pick what I want to play with? Because of this horrible UI. Okay, I guess I'm just stuck with this. Thanks, game. <laughs> Classic most filled with snipers. Did we won. Global risk, win. Global risk. There it is. Boom, you asshole. Oh, I didn't get MVP. I did pretty well, though. I'm already on... Wait, I'm actually on top. Wait, what? Yeah, 34 kills, 4 deaths. I went 34 and 4. What? Huh? What? Okay. Well... Um, did I, am I already proficient? Hey, geeky boy, what's up? Oh, I need some water. I'm dehydrated. I haven't noticed any campers. I, I'm not really one of those guys that gives a shit about camping now, so... Try out the Galil. I'm gonna keep playing modern because uh, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I really, I kind of want this game to, like, actually succeed, because if it gets, like, really good dev support and lots of options and video settings and controller, uh, you know, controller settings, um, Series X enhancements, stuff like that, it could be, like, a really fun game to play. These maps are too open? You mean the map that primarily takes place inside of the inside of this building? This game needs shirtless Yegor. It needs more guns? Yeah. Boom, why you kill kids with no money? Well, when you put it that way. I don't feel bad at all, actually. I used to play free-to-plays as a kid. I got killed. I see you. I'm dead. It's a rip-off COD anyway? How is this anything like COD? It's a first-person shooter. We gotta stop... We gotta stop drawing mass comparisons to any... To every shooter that also has a gun. Like, Modern Warfare is just Siege, and, and, and Crossfire is just... Call of Duty, and... Like... Crossfire has existed as a product on, like... Shit for a long time. Like, Crossfire is not a new game. Okay, let, let, let us... Let, let us think, brothers, okay? Shit. 
These guys are actually killing me. I don't like this game anymore. Okay, well, where is, um... Where's my sniper at? Because this is... They are pushing our little spawn in. I'm hitting RB. I don't think I have a lethal on this. Oh, that's not a hit? I shot him in the foot. Uh-oh. Point and click adventure. Point and click adventure. Uh-oh, point and click adventure. No. Somebody kill me so I don't get banned by the game for modding. MW snipers need to be this good? Oh, go fuck yourself. I wouldn't play COD anymore. Uzi and shield? What? This changes everything! Get fucked, Buttercup. Oh, you think you're cool? You are, because I can't. Okay. Yeah, Call of Duty definitely needs more competition. That's kind of why I'm sort of approaching this game in a very, like, open-minded way, is because, like, I want games like Insurgency Sandstorm and, like, maybe this game, you know, like, to, like, come and, like, actually kick COD's ass and Battlefield's ass into gear a little bit. There needs to be other options. Competition breeds, like, the best experience for everybody, so there's literally no reason to, to not want that. Ah, oh, damn it. Tactical growth. Can I? Oh, okay. So now I can mute. I can do like uh, a. F Ooh. Hi. Ha ha ha. Okay, I got a higher fire rate now. Are you? Are you fucking? Are you fucking with me? Oh yeah, boy. All right. Just be assertive here. Let's get up. Take your medicine. Oh god, I have to reload. I have to reload. I have to reload. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Get him out of ammo. Gotta switch to the Glock, boys. This thing needs to do more damage, I'll tell you that much right now. I'll tell you that right now. This needs more damage. Get knife, bitch! What are you gonna do? He's gonna shoot me. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, do you want the do you want this Uzi heat? Fire and move, fire and move. I'm breaking us out of the spawn trap, boys. You can thank me with a beer later, after after the war, after whatever we're doing here is over. Ooh, America's Proving Grounds? That's kind of a weak one for me. But there's just needs to, there's so much competition for shooters on like PC. And then like consoles just like COD Battlefield. If you're on Xbox, COD Battlefield Halo. Gears. Siege, I guess. Siege has Siege is one. Ooh, I got a hit marker with that grenade. Admit it, you're toast. Surely you must see you are doomed. Oh, he knew I was coming for it. Oh, he knew. You can know all you want. You're gonna spawn into my fucking Uzi, boy. Damn it, I almost got him. Mm, I wanna use this shotgun. 
But I don't know how good it's gonna be. Guess I don't have a grenade on this class either. Blitz pre patch in a nutshell. <laughs> That shield's broken! What? I thought you could break it. I've had mine broken already. I kind of hoped that that would be a thing. And why can't... I don't like this whole shield situation just because I, I, now that I don't want to use it, it, the game's like too bad. This is your life now. That's broken, guys. Like, that is... Uh... I'm just going to say, this, this is going to need a nerf if this game is to be a thing. Riot shields are annoying enough in video games where you don't get a fucking Uzi. Alright, come on. Oh, my sensitivity is too slow. Oh, it's because of the... Sh okay, so that's actually kind of smart. The shield does actually limit your movement. Alright, so some thought went into this game of, uh, okay. I'm out of ammo. Time to switch to the pistol and die. Um, sniper. Sure. Teammate, how did you die? Just shoot the bad guy, five head. Lame. I didn't want to fail the mission. Well, not bad. 25 and 11. Led my team again. Sniper's RP and so is the right shield with the other classes. I, honestly, I feel like the AR is kind of blow. Like, compared to the other things. Because I've been getting one-shot kills on people's feet with the sniper. But when it comes to... Um, You know, like, like the ARs, I feel like I need to, like, land way more shots than I kind of feel like I should. Oh, my God. VSK94? Hey, thanks for subscribing, man. I appreciate it. Okay, so... Let's rock this. Let's put the Deagle on all of our classes, because let's just let's just face it. So far, the Deagle has been way better than that Glock piece of shit. Watch this music be copyrighted, and watch me throw a fit on Twitter. Diet Scar. <laughs> Okay. It's pretty fun so far. Looks like better Warface. Yeah, it doesn't feel... Honestly, like, Warface has a little bit more polish to it. But this is still not bad at all. Right, Tay? I, I agree. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my water bottle, kids. You guys mind if I get my water? I rearranged, um, hi. I, uh, I rearranged my, my, uh, my room. What the fuck? Ah! The fuck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What, 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 what was that? Okay, so you guys can see this is a little bit of a little bit of an intermission. Got got a nice new setup going on back there, huh? It's nice and clean. No more garbage piled behind me. Can you say hi for me to your family? Uh, sure, ghostly. <laughs> when I see him tomorrow.
Nice camera, thank you. But yeah, we have like this whole setup, and that's where my TV is gonna go tomorrow. I got a, I got a new TV coming. I'm, re I'm really excited. It's clean, right? Also, dog on bed. Yes, there is some dog on bed action. She's hiding from the camera though. If I move my monitor, you guys can see it. Or if I move Sora a little bit more, yeah, she's like right there. Here, let me actually. Can I brighten up the room a little bit? Yeah, she's right there on the bed. She's uh. She is uh right. She's right there. Shall we? It's like 60 people are looking at you right now. Can you like fucking manage yourself? Boom is a snack? Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shelby. <coughs> this COD Mobile soundtrack is fire, bruh. Thanks. You need a barber? Eh. My hair looks really bad right now because I've been working all day and it's all sweaty. I need a shower tonight. But what would I be without my messy hair? Just some other fucking dude. Thank you, Dalton. I appreciate it. She's a girl. She's not a boy. She's a girl. War and guns and shooting people. Boom, bathwater coming soon? No, unfortunately. On DS? I don't have Modern Warfare on DS, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Epic running music? No, that was my combats. That's like, this is what I do when I'm in combat. I run like this. Exactly that one, Emo. Yeah, <laughs> this soundtrack is very free to play. Workout stream music. <laughs> no. Although I do have actual floor space now, so you guys remember my coffee table was here, but now that's over there, and it's gonna have a fucking uh, it's gonna have a TV on it. What, Bree? She she is the chocolate lab. She's a nine-year-old doggo. Healthy as rain. Still full of energy. I and mean, she's a chocolate lab. Chocolate labs never forget how to be energetic. Oh, I'm not going to take it competitively, dude. Don't even worry about that. Dude, I'm jamming. Okay, I want to see if I can add... Video capture device. Create new. It's gonna be called Y. It's gonna be the webcam. And so this one. I want to do this. So, okay, so the, this will actually be kind of fun. So what? <laughs> Sorry, let me just fix that real fast. What the hell is going on? Where's my web? Where's? She looks like a mixed breed. Oh, that's just her gray hair. No, she's a chocolate lab. I have not played Warface Breakout. I am currently just trying to figure out how to fucking fix my shit here. Oh, deactivate when not showing. That's what needs to be on. Whoops. Sorry, sorry, Shelby. I didn't mean to wake you. Ian has broke the stream. You broke the stream. How about that? Okay, let me stay here. Okay, so like, this should be, 
Okay, normal webcam. This should be what the fuck webcam. And this should be gaming webcam. Whoops. This is cropped weird. I'll just be like, I'll be like, playing my video game like a streamer and then be like, what the fuck happened? And then I just, I'll just like switch back to like normal. I agree. I think every reload animation should be forced to have slapping involved. Like you reload an M4 and you slap. MP5, of course, gotta have a slap. Free army guy 2017 free template. <laughs> I know, right? It's it's this game definitely has that like I am a free to play game feel. I fully agree, guys. You're not gonna catch me simping for fucking uh, this game or anything. Let's try to use the Galil this entire match because I feel like the sniping is like almost too easy. And I kind of want to know like what the AR play is really what what it can really be like. So I'm gonna creep around this corner here. That exposes me if I do that. So I'm going to creep around this little pot and then use it as uh, cover. I'll creep right here. Okay, then I can crouch and duck. Okay, so I'm going to wait here. Okay, teammate went around and he's actually fine. Oh, you can mantle. Okay, this game has mantling. All right, I'm already bored. I'm going to move forward. It's where you get, like, your tactical growth, like, just a little bit, like, after a kill. I don't want to be here. Oh, I suck. Yeah, like, these actually feel, like, hard to aim. Like, there's, like, some skill with these ARs that isn't present with the other weapons. Like, hip-firing that Uzi was just perfection, whereas this is, like, sort of like controlling a golf ball with a leaf blower. You know what it feels like? It feels like I'm lightly... I feel like I'm lightly... It feels like I'm lightly grabbing it with, like, the tip of my finger and trying to aim it. Like I'm twisting it like a nipple. You know what I mean? When I'm aiming, it, it feels so, like... Not premium. The sniping was, like, too easy, but then this is, like... Clearly needs a change. It's it's like it's missing the X factor, no pun no pun intended. Like it's actually missing that like that thing that makes a shooter feel like responsive and snappy. So it feels a little sloggy. That's just I think that's my first thing I'll say. Second thing I'll say is the graphics are are certainly worth talking about here. Like they're not amazing. They're not like photorealistic or anything like that. But they're nice, like, they're clean, and, and enemies feel very visible. Uh, like, but that just... It doesn't feel intuitive to point my analog stick at somebody in this. Like, what... And I can see some people having the same problem, where they just, like, dump a mag at somebody... And I really hope this isn't some way to, like, force, like, like contrived gunfights by, like, sort of making them too hard. But if you're going to make this a console game, it's got to feel like a console game. Like, good premium console games, like Battlefield, Halo, Call of Duty, like, they feel good to control. This does not feel good. Uh, my rating of this game so far is it's a very early beta. 
it's very low on content. Some people are very clearly better than me is also something I'll say. Uh, these And so I see we're seeing a problem here that, um, you know, already if like if unchecked, this would be very annoying into the final version of this game. Free or not, like, I don't want to spawn in front of gunfire. This gun actually requires some, like, skill, which is kind of annoying. The sniper felt super easy. Like, I could just, like... I could just tickle somebody and and they would do, and they'd go down. But like that looked like it that looked like a kill, but it just isn't. But this like this would you guys okay, what you're seeing right here like this situation, would you play this? I don't know. This feels just like bad, like just really shitty spawn design. Like that needs some absolute fucking work. Oh, thank you, teammate. You clean him up for me. I actually kind of wish this was only these ARs because look at this. It jumps around, it kicks, it's hard to aim. And then if I, uh, oh my god. The UI is also garbage. <clears throat> But I could use a sniper rifle and not have any of those problems. Like that. Like that's just... Oh, he's on the stairs! Nice. I'm just dead again. <laughs> okay. Oh, that hip fire! Why is it easier to do it with the sniper than this fucking pistol? Okay. Okay. Hey, man. Infinity Ward had good spawns before Modern Warfare. I'm just gonna say that. But look at that. That's, that's, that is too easy. I don't know if that's because of the little bit of aim assist that I've found. Or... The gun keeps un ADSing too. That's also cool. Uh, this is kind of... It's a little busted. That smoke grenade is obnoxious. Okay, so let's, uh... No, I actually didn't want that. Fuck. Damn it, I keep forgetting that's, that, that's the shield. Oh, uh, whatever. Might as well move up with it. This, uh, pistol that does at least one damage at a distance. It has to at least do one damage, but, like, I've gotten 12 hit markers with it, so... I'm dead. Hi, Scarecrow, what's up? Okay, I would love to, like, use that gun, but I can't because I'm stuck on the shield. This animation is... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave this match. Uh, that is bad. That's my first... That is my first game, uh, that I've just had to... I've had to leave. That's my first bad experience. I've been having I've been having fun up to that point. But there's no point in me just spawning and dying over and over again. Uh, Crossfire X. I know it's I know it's hard. To all the people that are coming in and asking what the game is, I know it's hard, but the title of the stream is like right there. <laughs> use vector, please. Uh, okay. I could use the vector. So I feel like snipers are like way bad. This UI is bugged. It's too hard to look subscribe in your own words. It's uh it's crossfire. It's a console version of crossfire that needs a shit ton of polish. Uh this is the only map I've played so far. And the other modes are no respawn, which isn't usually my cup of tea. So, I don't know. Try classic? I don't really want to do no respawns. I, I don't like no respawn game modes, man. That's my problem. So far, like, this beta fails because I don't want to do its other game modes, so I just have to play this one map. Hey, you're, well, if you're not going to sleep because you see this, then I appreciate it. That's the best compliment I've been given all day. 
Except for my friend came over and congratulated me on my fat cock. But that's just what guys do. He was like, wow, that's a fat cock you got there. Good job. And I'm like, thank you. Ooh, that feels good. I will push your spawn, and you will like it. Damn it. No ADS on Classic? Gross. I like to be able to ADS. I'm not going to lie. No ADS, no respawns? Eh. There's no, there is no reason for that amount of difference. Make a unified experience that's balanced and fun. Don't basically ship your game with two games in it. Oh my. Yo, yo, what do you do, boy? Health recovered. HP recovers. I'm dead, I guess. Shadow said nice cock, but like... Truth is, cock wasn't that great all along. I guess I'll throw the smoke grenade. Clunkiest grenade throw of 2020, kids. This, oh, okay. Is there an FOV slider? There's, there's brightness, controller sensitivities, and party chat. So this needs options. This needs, like, settings and shit. This needs a lot. I almost wonder if they're making this for, like, the Series X, and it's going to be, like, amazing. Well, I thought knives were one-hit kills. Okay. Enemy is on oh, God. Goodness, no. Dumbasses are using guns. a nice reload. Alright, take him B. What are you gonna do about it? What are, you gonna, what are you gonna take B from me? Oh, okay. Look, guys, they want their objective back. <laughs> like in every FPS game, though, when snipers are OP, I get scared of every engagement. Just like that. Like, what was I... If he had a normal AR, we would have exchanged fire, but instead it's like, and I'm dead. And, oh, and I'm dead. And, oh, didn't see him. Oh, and I'm dead. I didn't watch the Cyberpunk trailer, but I actually watched Skill Up talk about Cyberpunk because he actually got to play it. It looks it's good. Um, I don't know what to say about... The fucking objective marker blocked his head, so I couldn't shoot it. I couldn't see him. Anyway. Nice mic. Oh. Sorry. I guess I was a little bit in my face. Okay. We both exchanged fire. Let's just agree that that shield's super annoying. Am I liking it? I, there's only really... Since Classic has no ADS and no respawns, I'm probably not going to play it unless I get really bored. Um, But I'm kind of getting bored, but I'm not... But I don't want to do that. Doesn't sound fun. That I, I know. I know myself. I know what I like in a shooter. No respawn modes are already something I don't like. The gunplay in this is like apparently like designed to be super imbalanced. Just keep moving. Yeah, that doesn't work. But <laughs> like, oh, I'll just move. Yeah. See. So see. See me. Like still. Like not being that fast so like in an actual engagement like moving rarely helps against an overpowered sniper and the snipers in this game don't even need to shoot your upper chest bud they need to shoot your feet you can get one shots to the feet with these sniper rifles so that is an issue i don't know if i have a lethal or not because it like sometimes doesn't throw which is cool get on it 
<laughs> oh, hi, bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need your license. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need your gun license. Why did you just take two knife hits from me? <laughs> he got taken out. Is anyone else gonna try to get to the things, or am I the only one that's dumb enough to be up here? Oh, there's somebody. Oh, I got him! Oh, fuck, I got him. Do you have a gun license? I don't need one, man. I don't pay my taxes. I don't need a gun license. What do you think this is? The UK? I'm dead. You only have one nade? I know, but like sometimes when I hit it, I I have it equipped and it it should be there. And it should be there. It it isn't. Let's use the EBR for this last bit. Oh, cool! It's actually fully automatic. Dope. This game gets points for having a fully automatic EBR. Frag out. These reload animations are clean. They're simple, but I like them. <gasps> They're simple and clean. They're my favorite Kingdom Hearts song. He's an American. He's born with one. Exactly, dude. I pop out the pussy with an AR-15. That's just that's part of that's part of the American anthem. Ah, what? I wish there were kill cams. See those sniper vapor trails? Oh, okay. Damn. Full auto EVR, he do be shooting fast, though. Yeah, he certainly do be. Come on, where? They're gonna win the... Oh, God, there's so much delay when you want to throw a lethal or tactical or whatever. All right, let's... Uh, can I go up here? I forget how to... I don't... Mm, do I go in... Oh, go in this way. Let's get my gun ready. Okay, we got our stuff, and we're gonna get up here, and we lose. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, Scarecrow. FBI, we found him. <laughs> But Donald Trump, <laughs> I, just, I don't. <laughs> just Donald. Okay. See the EBR doesn't fall out. It's just his trigger finger, right? Yeah. Big sad. Dude, don't get caught watching the stream. There's guns in it. Uh. Okay. Um. What other guns do we have to play around with? This M. This uh. AT15 is. Kind of an interesting looking meme. I could give it a go. So the objective is like you you secure two objectives, and once it gets to a certain point, you have to vacate the building to the to another area, and then capture that objective. Get health regen. Got it. Yeah, I really should be going for that. You level up your profile? I don't know what that means. Oh, go to profile and get... Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, Grizz, what's up? Not really domination with extra steps. It's kind of like... Uh, I don't know, it's like Rush or something. You capture two objectives and then you move to the next part of the map. It's not really like domination. I mean, unless you want to like really get like like anal about it and be like well technically there's objectives <laughs> mouse excel on xbox game bro moment i am not using a mouse but we'll see how I, I i'm doing okay with the aim so far but it definitely is floaty as fuck okay if i'm here then somebody else could be here i i okay i got sniped neat 
That's not mouse acceleration, dude. I think it's actually linear. Is this isn't that linear? Because like it's not it doesn't accelerate at all. I think I have a really slow sensitivity, so I don't It kinda feels more like linear on siege than it does like I don't know if this is I usually cause I turn off acceleration on games and this doesn't really feel like heavy acceleration as much as it just kinda feels like really sluggish linear. They ain't on A no more, and I'm sniped. I would love to just not... Honestly, like, I would be enjoying this if the snipers weren't in it, because the snipers are OP and kind of annoying. And since I don't prefer to use snipers, I kind of want to, like, actually have some, like, gunfights. And I feel like I'm a little bit robbed. Dying by a sniper is usually, like, sign, like, oh, the person's accurate, but you can get leg shots that are one-shot kills. Oh no, I can control your spawn. He he he. No, I can't. I can't even aim. Hold on. Ah, no. Crouch. Uncrouch. Shoot. Dead. <laughs> Snipers. <laughs> scar is pretty good. I'll keep that in mind. I did try the scar. I didn't hate it. I did, um... Stop. Stop. I just... I want to increase my fire rate and my recovery. So now my fire rate's up. It's kind of an interesting mechanic. Like, you kind of, like, pick your own little perks after you get kills. Oh, bugger. Oni Agent with the fiver, man. Let me read that in just a sec. Having a bad night? Tell me your best dirty joke. Having a bad night, Oni Agent? Well, that's unacceptable. Everybody, give Oni Agent a howdy do, and some and some dirty jokes. I'm gonna I'm gonna think of one. Um, it's not a joke, but my um, the one thing I heard a while back that makes me laugh and it's really bad is um, if you if you do anal sex with a trainee, you can reach around and pretend you went all the way through. <laughs> Which always makes me laugh, but it's not really a joke, it's just an observation. <laughs> I don't know if that cheers you up or makes you sadder. <laughs> but thank you for the five, man. Darth Vader's sword went red for Luke. That is the worst joke I've ever heard. Losing a. By a large margin. Bruh. <laughs> but, dude, Oni Agent, thank you so much, man. You didn't you don't have to donate to get to get my attention. I try to read the chat. Enemy is on but I'm I'm sorry you're having a bad night. If you want to talk about it, you can. Nice cock, Oni. I can't aim. Don't worry, though. Frag did it. <laughs> so if I stand, like, right here, the little icon should block me. I should be able to just secure this. Yeah, he's gonna call the vibe police.
What's the one game I'll never play? That's a good question. There are some games that even if somebody was like, here's a hundred dollars, play it, I'd be like, no. Let me think of them. Um, Halo 5, I don't think I'd want to play. I'm thinking on stream. Like, in general, I'm pretty, like, lax with what I will and won't play. But, like, streaming is different, I guess. So, but, like, let's see. A game you'll never play. What's the one game? Oh, Hi Sniper. He did to me what I've been doing to other people. Enemy is on oh, a game that I... Mm, fuck. Like... Oh, Destiny 1? Sort of a hard question, honestly, for me. Because, like, I again, like, not streaming, I'm pretty lax. I'll, I'll try anything for a little bit, even if it's something I know I don't love. I'm surprisingly lenient when I'm not streaming. Tagged your head. Is that... What? Oh... Oh, no. Ooh, Sonic 06? I don't know. I would stream Sonic 06 for 10 bucks. Like, honestly, 10 bucks would make that entire stream worth it. I actually wouldn't mind playing, like, a bad Sonic game. So basically a Sonic game other than Generations, but whatever. You guys can't hear, but I'm like beating the fuck out of my bumper to throw a grenade. Oh, he didn't see it. I kind of like there's no grenade indicators. You're very rewarded for your throw. Hey, get away from my spot. Maybe you can have it. Just kidding. You have to get away from it first. Sprinting with the shield still allows me to see you, dumbass. I'm killing everyone that comes through this lane, so it this is my job. I, I'm dead. Snipers! God damn it. Ooh, Telltale Games. I would say Telltale Games. I don't like Telltale Games. If I gave you... A, okay, you know what? If you gave me $100, I would probably play Halo 5. I would I would start installing it tonight, and I'd stream it tomorrow. Honestly, I would play... I would play two hours... I don't know, like... This is a question not because of me, but like just in general. How much, how many, if you, how many hours of a game? So if you donated a hundred dollars to a streamer for them to play a game, how many hours would they have to play for you to be like, okay, you served your time? In my head, it's two because at around two hours, most streamers get start to get a little burnt feeling, especially if they're playing solo. When, like, Telltale games are just not my thing. Hey, hey, round MVP is me, baby. 30 and 11, guys. 900? Oni Agent, you're fucking me. Borderlands 2 co-op? I am not into Borderlands, really, I'm not. I, I, I just have so much trouble with, like, the story, the art style, the humor. Like, I just... And then, like, I don't like... And then I'm already sort of, like, a little bit eh when it comes to, like, looter shooters. And so I would probably say um, no to that. For 100, say 2 to 3. 2 to 3, okay. I'm going to say 2 and a half hours then. If anybody ever donates $100 with one, like, like play this game next stream... I would do it for two and a half hours. I think that's actually fair. Do you like Wendy's? I like Wendy's. It's all right. Oh, shut up, Tay. No. Fuck. N You're going to make me act up, dude. <sighs> Gameplay-wise, like, Telltale games are just, like, not for me. Oh, I need to slide this under so if somebody actually donates or something. 
Okay, so there, there we go. So now if anyone like donates or like subscribes, I can like it'll the alert will actually be over my face. So oh wow, you can see my dog's head right there, that right there. You wheel doggy. Shelby. Shelby, people are looking at you. She is so tired. She um. Whoops, what am I doing? Oh god. Life is a nightmare. So she is tired as hell. So she actually. I've been in and out of my room, like, all day. I've been spending making my room this fucking masterpiece that it is right now. Like, right here, my room looks exactly the same it used to, as it used to, but this entire back area. I was living... So, anyway, I just did a lot of work and, like, a lot of work and stuff. And so, like, my dog, she follows me around when I'm working. If I'm working on anything, she follows me around. So, all day, from 11 to, like, uh, 11 to 11, actually... So about 12 hours, she just was pacing behind me. So she's tired as shit. Boom, I will give you $0 to do a stream where you talk to us only for 120 seconds. Honestly, I, I like the chatting with you guys. Unless it's just god awful, then I'd just say fuck it, thanks for the money. <laughs> Telltale games are poopy butt. Yeah, especially, especially. okay, this is why Telltale games suck for me. I'm going to be real with you guys. RPGs exist. Really good RPGs. Like, you have games like Persona and Dragon Quest. You have, like, old turn-based Final Fantasy games like FF8 or FF7. You have these old RPGs that are rich with story and options that you just, you don't need to, like, yeah... $10,000 and I'd shave my head, but even then I might just take the money and run. How much for a face reveal? $5 and I'll reveal my face, everybody. Have you seen Sonic Forces yet? Uh, yeah, it didn't really look like my thing. I, Sonic games are such a mixed bag. I'll look into that, Ghostly. Stop it, Tay. Damn, I am too poor. I was going to give 100, but bank account decided it or declined it. Well, oh well. Guess I'll just die. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get back into doing podcasts. It's just hard. Shredded mozzarella cheese? I'd probably... If I was actually going to sell my bathwater, which I'm not. But if I was going to, I'd probably do like 30 bucks for a quart. That's a quarter. That's a quarter of my bodily fluids for 30 bucks. Not bad. No, boom. Don't die. You're so sexy. <laughs> Thank you. Twinkle toes. Dude, face reveal time? All right. So anyway, that was my face. Hey, what's up? Thank you, Alicon TV. Twinkle Toes and Alcon, thank you for the thank you for the dollars, guys. Really appreciate it. Yo, how's this going? Here's a toony bud. <laughs> awesome. I want to be part of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, if I do another podcast time. episode, I will bring in viewers from Discord and shit. Boom, play Pokemon. I don't have any way to play Pokemon, though. I mean, I have my DS, but I guess I could, I guess I could use an emulator and play Emerald on my game, on my computer, but... Hey everyone, have you seen the Money Heist on Netflix? Such a good show, you should watch it. I have not seen Money Heist. Whoa, cool glasses. Dude, that's what I'm going to look like in Cyberpunk. I'll look exactly like this and then that. 
Cyberpunk looks pretty cool. It looks Cyberpunk looks fun, but like Skill Up basically when like when I was watching Skill Up's video on Cyberpunk, he was basically just describing a a first person RPG. And I I don't know, like I guess I I guess the game's been so like built up that like I forget that it's just going to be a video game. Okay, ghostly. Dude, DS Pokemon games are stupid. Is Space Force good, Scarecrow? Because I want to watch that. Fucking Steve Carell's my man. Oh, yeah, we got a new Snap coming for on, on Switch. Although, I don't have a Switch, so whatever. How much to sing I'm a Barbie Girl? I don't think I want to sing, dude. My throat sucks right now. So, I would say save your money for a stream where I'm in a really good mood and I've had a lot of sleep. I'm going off of five hours of sleep and a lot of Mountain Dew right now. There's so much Mountain Dew Zero coursing through my veins, it's, it's definitely causing cancer. Yeah, I would say, yeah, it looks fine. Would you emulate SOCOM? Maybe. I've never played a SOCOM. I think I played one at my friend's house a long time ago, but... Are you getting a PS5 uh, next year? I'll probably get a PS5 next summer if, it, if there's some good games. Uh, as long as there's five games that are worth getting it for, I will get it. Zero Calorie Mountain Dew? Come on, boom. Yeah, I, I mean, I like Mountain Dew Zero. Mountain Dew Doritos? Oh, God, no. Do they really make Mountain Dew flavored Dorito, Doritos? Oh, God. Yes, a, a gender spectrum, but I, I don't care about that. I like the genitalia increases. I like that I can have a big whopping penis. Be awesome. Oh, yeah, dude, I gotta get the PS5 to play GTA 5. <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta. <laughs> oh, wait, shit. The camera, you can, you can tell I'm not really puking. And I gotta have to, like. Oh! <laughs> Spider-Man sold me. Yeah, for me it was FF7, Spider-Man, and then I knew I wanted to play the other ones, like uh, like Horizon and Persona and stuff like that. Doritos flavored Mountain Dew, no joke. Look it up. Oh, gross. I have an Xbox. You're guaranteed to find five good games on PS5 first party. I mean, yeah, I guess. Like the thing is, is like um, with my Series X though, I'll have all 300 of my games able to be played right there. Whoa, 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 you'll donate 100 if I smoke crack? Hmm, a life-crippling addiction on one hand. $100 in the other. And with that $100, I could maybe buy some more crack. Whoa, my hair is like crazy. I need to go shower soon, guys. You're not into the PS4 exclusive games? I think, I think that's the thing about like games, right? Is that they're not universal con like system sellers. God of War might be a masterpiece, but does everyone want it? The hundred dollars is a better bet. You sent Jason Persona four. Oh, that's right. It's his birthday. It just turned to his birthday, didn't it? Shoot. You telling me I just need to film my daily routine for a hundred? Damn. 100 plus the cost of crack and cost of six months rehab. Awesome. Yeah, it's actually smart. Like, for me, like, with, with PlayStation, it's just, it's Final Fantasy, Persona, and Spider-Man, and Uncharted that I really wanted to play. And I was like, fuck it, I gotta play Horizon and God of War. So, I, I'm gonna play those. I have my new TV coming tomorrow. It'll be at the end of my bed. I have this juicy, awesome, barely used chair. It's been downstairs. We got it for um, my mom and my dad. And then my dad passed away. And so, like, they just have been kind of sitting there gathering dust. And so I dusted off, cleaned it. It's a nice, awesome, comfy chair for me. It makes me look small when I sit in it. All PS exclusives are Oscar bait games. I would say the opposite of that for... Uncharted, Persona, Final Fantasy, and Spider-Man. Those are just quality games in terms of mechanics. And then the stories happen to be good on top of it. I would say God of War and Last of Us are the most Oscar-baity games that they do. 
Last of Us and God of War are very Oscar baity. Good night, Andre. Hope I said your name right. Five dollars to fly to, fly to Ukraine and touch the elephant's foot. I mean, five dollars plus a plane ticket to the U Ukraine, right? Uncharted is just a movie. Eh, you can look at that that way. Yeah. Oh, also, Death Stranding's pretty good. Scarecrow, Last of Us sucks. I'm just gonna say it. I don't want to play it. I don't want to touch it. It's gross, and I hate it. I, 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 the dreary, melodramatic games like Last of Us, anything like that is just, like, my brain just, my brain just shuts off. I, I hate that. I hate those types of games. But no, the Uncharted games have a lot of character, and I mean, now, because like, now you can get all three of the originals for ten bucks, and the new, and four for ten bucks, that's a lot of entertainment for ten, for like twenty bucks. I'll give you one if you give me a dollar. Dude, DM me your PayPal. We'll trade dollars. That's your opinion? No, Scarecrow, it's an absolute fact. If you like Last of Us, you're a fucking retard. Well, of course it's my opinion. Do you like racing games? Um, I like Forza Horizon 3 and 4. A hundred dollars to play Last of Us. Uh, make it a hundred and eleven dollars, and I would probably. I can't promise I'd beat it, but I would try it. I would try it for a hundred. Okay, so Oni Agent, what are you saying here? Yes, but you have to touch it. Okay. And that way I won't have to pay for a return flight. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> no, Hayes, don't. Oh, God. No, no, no. 222? But The Last of Us isn't a good story. It's good characters in a really boring story. Ellie and Joel in the first Last of Us, from everything I've seen, are fantastic characters for that world. That world is the most generic, boring shit I have ever seen. Nothing about it's fantastical. Nothing blows my mind. I would be bored. You guys would watch me, and I'd eventually just be upside down in my chair with my headset half in my mouth, just like, I want it to be over. I just want it to be over. This is that's, Do you want to see that for an hour and a half? Ugh. How much to play Extinction? Ten bucks. Ten bucks, I'd load up Extinction right now on Call of Duty Ghosts, and I'd play, play the first level. Fallout 76? I would play it for $76. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to start a bidding war as to what I will and won't play. Hey, at least Tarkov has like real people and shit. Like Tarkov's a different story. Like we're not we're not gonna start comparing Tarkov to Last of Us, alright? We're not that crazy. I don't mind mundane realistic worlds when it comes to like competitive stuff, like PvE, PvP, like survival. Um, and like where like crafting and like exploration's a big deal. We're in like I'm talking about like melodramatic stories. Is boring, just not for the pandering that thinks Last of Us 2 is a daddy simulator. Yeah, but I would never play it at high difficulty levels because I don't like the gameplay. I've seen so much of the gameplay. Trust me, guys, I've watched multiple video essays on, on The Last of Us. Okay? I'm not coming at this like, oh, I don't think I like the look of the box art. Like, I really don't think it's my game. I just don't think it's my game. It's a lot of it's pretty basic. And there's other games that are basic, but at least I like. I think they're more charming and fun. Hundred thousand? You don't have a hundred thousand dollars to give some stupid ass streamer. Uh, do you like Uncharted or Tomb Raider? I like Tomb. I like both of them. I haven't played much of them though. Like I still need to like get into them, but I like the. I know what they are, and I can accept them for that. They're sort of like these over the top. Indiana Jones simulators, and I like that. It's like you're in an Indiana Jones movie, and that's fun. 
but Scarecrow, it's been years. It's been years of me knowing what Last of Us is and watching tons of essays, okay? I've played enough games to know what, what it is. The idea that I need to play a game to, like, play a game to review it? Yes. Play a game to judge it? Hell no. At this point, I have played hundreds of games throughout my life, like most of us in this chat probably have. And I can look at a game and go, that's basic bog standard. That's melodramatic and boring. That's grayscale and tiring. That's, you know... It, it, I, I know when a game is trying to bait me, and I feel like Last of Us is that kind of game. I've heard Shadow of the Tomb Raider is pretty boring. You know what I'm really excited about? Changing the subject just a little bit. I also need to play Infamous Second Son, because I've actually heard some pretty good things about that, and I like the original Infamous games on PS3. But... Fucking Ghost of Tsushima. I don't... Like, the gameplay looks pretty bog standard in Ghost of Tsushima, but I love the setting. I love the setting and style of it. And it looks like there's a lot of love packed into a very tried-and-true open-world formula. But I love the setting. I really look forward to playing that next month. Dishonorable Ninja Simulator. Exactly. <laughs> I wreck on a simulator. Your new profile pick? Okay. I don't fully get it, but I do like I do like what I'm looking at. It's weirdly it's weirdly satisfying, even if I don't fully understand it. I'll give you 15 if you get 1 million board sales in Skate 3. No. Wait, sorry. No. What are you fucking stupid? What are you dumb or something? I'm not doing that. Mass Effect? I don't like Bioware's style of RPG. I'm gonna be honest, Bioware doesn't make my style of RPG. It's too, like, I, I've seen a lot of Dragon Age and I've seen a lot of Bioware, like, just in general recently because of, like, uh, my girlfriend's been playing through them and she wants to get into Mass Effect as well. And I'm just not, I'm just not that into that. I've never played Dishonored. Uh, maybe I should, but that's, mm, I played the first one a little bit, actually, and I think I got, like, a couple bits in and I got kind of bored. Um, but I was younger then. Maybe I'd like it now. Mass Effect, I already said. Uh, Halo 3 review. In a nutshell? Honestly, Halo 3, in terms of campaign and multiplayer, just kind of feels like a little bit more of a boring Halo 2 to me. I hate saying that, though, because I love 3. But I just... I, I have decided that, especially like with the remasters, like I like 2 more than 3 mechanically. Three is still good, though. But two is just so unbeatable. The ending sucks in two. Let's just be honest, story-wise. But it's dope. It's not even just like a cliffhanger. It's just like so anticlimactic. 26 dollars for completing the Vault of Glass in Destiny 2. Gotcha. Do you like the Dark Souls and Bloodborne games? Not really. Also, not really my style of RPG. I don't know what it is. They're very plain. Like, Soulsborne games, I don't like... I don't know. I like a little bit more fantasticalness in my in my RPGs. I'm a little bit of a... I'm a little bit of a fucking virgin. Okay, guys? I'm a little bit of a fucking... Gotta watch what I say. I'm a little bit of a... A little bit of a baby. Okay? I'm a little bit of a baby gamer. And if you, if you told me to play an action RPG or whatever, I'd be like... Oh... So Witcher, Final, like I'm not even that into Witcher three that much, but like, like Witcher, Final Fantasy fifteen, Final Fantasy seven remake, Kingdom Hearts one and two and three, like what what do you want me to play? If you were to say like oh well Dark Souls, I'd be like, uh, uh, um, near Autonoma, and like no Dark Souls, I'd be like okay sure 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 sure, um so like can I play some Dream Drop Distance or <laughs> like I'm a bit of a baby. 
$15 for 100%ing Indiana Jones? Does that include all achievements or just all characters and missions and, like, all the in-game stuff? Um, I'm looking through all this stuff. Okay, Spyro, never played it. We'll just talk about my video games opinion, video game opinion, send the stream, because I like, I like talking to you guys. Okay, so, a new skate game exists. Doesn't super thrill me. I, I, I'm not that into skateboarding. Uh, I enjoy Skate 2 because it's fun, but, like, or is it Skate 2 or 3 that I own? I don't... I don't know, is it, wait, or is it Skate 4 that people want to come out? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, but I like Persona 5. I'm actually clinically insane. I'm really enjoying Persona 5, and I, 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 I fucking, I just love it. Halo 3 is overrated, I guess. Halo 4 and 5 weren't asked, change my mind. I can't really change your mind, but I can definitely say they weren't for me. Fable. Never got into Fable. Opinion on Rainbow Six? Not as fun as it used to be. Um, I'll answer your questions quickly. If you want me to elaborate, let, uh, let me know. What do you think of Topo in Modern Warfare? I don't like the Topo pattern. Code Vein? Thought about playing it? Don't think I'm going to. $92 for completing Stranglehold. All Gold Bricks? That's actually not a bad deal, because, like, Lego Indiana Jones is fun. Crash Insane Trilogy. Not really my thing. Your most unpopular opinion? I fucking hate The Last of Us. I think Borderlands is boring as shit. Um, Black Ops 2 is is an average Call of Duty game, not an above-average Call of Duty game. Um, Lord of the Rings is immensely better than Star Wars in terms of, like, film. Um... In terms of, like, you know, comparing sagas. Or not, comparing trilogies. We're going to compare trilogies. Um, I've heard, I've gotten bad feedback from that, but I guess that's not too unpopular. People pretty much know those movies are practically flawless. I have a lot of unpopular opinions, I guess. How far are you into Persona 5? I am about 20 hours in now. I'll be getting a lot more into Persona 5 once I get my TV in my room. Uh, Yakuza. I, I like Yakuza's, like, I don't know. I, the reason I'm enjoying Persona 5 is because it's a lot of what I, I think I would like from Yakuza. A lot of story, like, story-rich stuff and, like, mundane things like doing laundry or, like, going shopping or whatever. But, like, I just prefer, I, I just don't like the combat of Yakuza or, like, really the art style or the characters. Like, it doesn't jump out to me as something I would enjoy playing, but maybe one day I'll give it a try. Toji and Mineral never really played those. Homefront, I don't like Homefront the Revolution, that's for sure. It's fun to make fun of, though. That's, that's fine. Um, how much to play Fortnite? For 50 bucks, I'd play a game of Fortnite. Honestly, that's how bad that is. Persona 5 has great music. Ghost Recon, love Wildlands, Breakpoints, Disappointment. $22 to see you upside down on your chair babbling incoherently. Oh, dude, don't tease me with $220 for something I could actually do. Fuck you. Uh, Star Wars is not boring. It's just Lord of the Rings is a cooler set of movies. Uh, $17 for completing I Am Bread. Oh. That sounds great, BL2. That's just like it's it. Fair enough. Shut your lean mean. <laughs> String being Charlie Sheen, limousine, canteen, trampoline, serpentine, antihistamine, wolverine, submarine, unclean, nectarine, broken gene, Halloween, defective spleen, looking ass the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you, shredded mozzarella cheese. Uh, Shenmue, I actually want to play Shenmue. Shenmue looks like it's kind of my thing. I like, I like it. Earthworm Jim? I played Earthworm Jim a long time ago, but eh, it's been a while. The original Lego Batman Dream Eater is one of my favorite video games. It's in my top 10 childhood games. Yakuza Zero is up your alley? Okay, I'll take that, I'll take that into consideration. What's a good modern RPG for an RPG new? I've always been put off by 100 menus. Um... Do you like linear or open world? If you if you ask if you answer linear or open world and what platform you're on, I can maybe actually give you a decent answer. Skyrim? 
ooh, I hate the fact that, like, I, I want to play Skyrim, but I don't know if I could get into it. I Okay, to, in order for me to get into Skyrim, I would need to have nothing else going on except, like, my channel. If I had zero other games to play, I could actually get into Skyrim. Skyrim is something I, I would like to time sync into if I could. Zero dollars to enjoy Modern Warfare. With friends? Or solo? Hashtag kissing the homies goodnight. That's what you do. $46 and a battle scarred AWP for a game of CSGO. I still need to play CSGO. Jake, I'm not going to go right from P5 into P4. That's a lot of Persona. I'm going to probably take a break from Persona for the rest of the year after I beat 5 because they're massive RPGs. Play Skyrim. Okay, eventually. Red Dead 2. Uh, Red Dead 2. I like Red Dead 2. It just got boring. It's fun, but it got boring. I hate that because I made a bunch of videos saying it's not boring. And no, mechanically, I don't think it is. It just wears out its welcome. It's like, it's a really, it's really good. When you've never played Red Dead 2 and you go to play Red Dead 2, it's like sex. Sex after about two or three hours is like, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I need a Gatorade, and I'd like to go to bed now. 68 hour RPG, Jake, is not long. Dude, Persona 5 is 120 hours. Do the math. Dark Souls is better than Skyrim. I think Skyrim is at least more fun than Dark Souls because Dark Souls is pretty fucking... Dark Souls has a fun factor of about zero. Even when you do well, it's like so basic and so predictable. I, 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 I actually, okay, just if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know Shroud, this won't help, but I have Shroud's opinion on Dark Souls. After playing through Dark Souls, most of Dark Souls 3, I'm just tired of it. I don't like the gameplay loop. It's boring. I think it's sad. Ooh, episode 3 and episode 5 are my favorites. Uh, mozzarella cheese. Uh, I don't really want to play Subnautica. The unofficial patch. Okay, gotcha. Everyone heck, I need to play CSGO, and I will play it with you, Twinkle Toes, because I, I kind of owe you, and I feel like I'm bad at doing things. Uh, CSGO is not that good. Fair enough. Shadow of the Colossus. I need to get that for my PlayStation. Fuck. Um, after not that long, you're wrong. Oh, sorry. Linear and open world games. My platform is PS4. Okay, you like linear and open world games. Um, I don't know your age range. I don't know if you're like... And I don't know like what your charm level is. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know like what exactly you're into. I would say... So for like an action RPG... Like an RPG that's disguised as a hack and slash. Or you could say it's a hack and slash disguised as an RPG. Kingdom Hearts is good. I think those are very mechanically sound games. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is very good. Final Fantasy XV, in my opinion, is a good game. Not a perfect game. And what? You, I, I know it's not perfect. I get, I get shit for saying I like that game. But, like, it, it has a lot of stuff to love. I think it has more to love than hate, but it's definitely unpolished. I'm not going to pretend it's not unpolished. So, um... If you're on PS4, and you don't mind linear or open world... I don't know. I would say maybe go for... If you're into like more like realistic, less weeby garbage, then maybe like Witcher. Witcher's not terribly complicated. <laughs> Your price for playing Dark Souls, you get the Faft of the Firekeeper. Awesome. Crossfire X is basically CSGO. It's basically CSGO. I enjoyed playing Crossfire X tonight, though. I'm already done with it. I think I might play more... I might play Classic Mode with some buddies later if I can get them to, like, play that this weekend, but... Lego City of Color Over is a great open-world game. It's too good for being a Lego game. I know. I've heard it's good, but I don't know. I might try it sometime. Oh, thank you, Shredded Mozzarella. 
Stardew Valley? I've I've watched my girlfriend play that a lot, and it looks fun. I don't know if I'd buy it, though. But if you like hack and slashing, I would say Devil May Cry is, like, the perfect hack and slash. Play Sekiro? If someone gifted me Sekiro on Xbox, I would probably stream it just for to be nice to whoever gifted it. But I probably wouldn't play it off stream, so don't do it. That's the thing. It's like I I don't I don't like from software. I don't like from software's design language. I just don't like it. I don't mind hard games or anything like that. It's just sort of I don't like boring games. See a dream eater. Is it possible to become a failure? Uh definitely. No doubt. Need the oppressor MK3. <laughs> Why is there a Hydra MK2 <laughs> MK2 in your Mark II? Sorry, I like to say MK it bothers people, but uh, I've always read it that way. What will you stream tomorrow? I I don't know what I'm going to stream tomorrow. I really don't. I want to stream something, but like my TV is coming tomorrow, and I really want to focus on that because that's just super fun. But I will probably try to find some time to stream. Oh, the GTA Online. That's right. That's what it is. No Shrek thoughts? Sorry, my thoughts on Shrek is that they're all good except for the last one. Forever After is bunk. I, I, really, like, I really like Shrek 1 through 3. I think they're good movies. Play Knights of the Old Republic on stream? I don't know, Nolan. I don't own it, and I don't... Mm. TV setup stream? No. Uh, no. Uh. That's hard to do. Oh, really, Connor? You don't know Lego City Undercover like I know Lego City Undercover. Ooh, fucking shots fired. My favorite PS1 game, I have to say, I have to say Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII is what told me that games could have stories. Kingdom Hearts showed me how fun a game can be. FF7 told me how good a story of a, in a game could be. Shrek the Third, a good movie? Dude! Dude, that movie's great! What are you, what are you talking about? Fuck you talking about? It's good. It's, it's a good movie. Shut up, Dalton. What's your mother's maiden name? I'm almost past the security questions. Dude. Fucking, it's a... Uh, Oh, what is it? Garner, I think, or something like that. Favorite COD campaign? Probably Black Ops 1 or 2. But MW2 is up there, and Infinite Warfare is as well. And Advanced Warfare. Advanced War... In current-gen CODs, it'd probably be Advanced Warfare. Last-gen, probably Black Ops 2. Sorry, quickly, Insane, what would you say? Uh, I don't really like Subnautica. I I've seen a good amount of it, but I know I know enough that I it's not really my cup of tea. Kevin Spacey Warfare. Titanfall 2's campaign is awesome. Is that it? Does that do it? Is it Slash Hug? Sorry, it might be Slash Hug, huh? Yay! I did it. Ugh. It's fine. Um... The MP mission for Modern Warfare 2? Yeah, that's actually really fun. Pet the dog? Shelby, come here. I know it's hot in here, huh? I'll let you out, baby. Come here. Come here, little mama. Come here, you little thing. I know it's hot in here, huh? I'm. So you want to come here? You want to come be on camera? Here, come here. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, baby. They want to see you. Come on, the streamers do this. They get all. The, they get. They get tons of subs and donations. I gotta. I'm gonna rough you up a little bit. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Who's a doozer? Who's a doozer? Who's your big doozer? 
is you. Your breath is... You took a nap, huh? You took a nap, huh? This is a chocolate lab. She's a little old, though. She's a little gray. You say hi to everybody? You say hello? Okay, goodbye. She doesn't want to play no more. Where are you going, Shelby? You big, chunky bear. All right. She is pretty puffy. She, she's about nine years old, and she's still so full of, well, all the things that make a lab annoying, <laughs> but I love her. Don't toss her over your shoulder. God save the doggo. She's so warm in here. I gotta let her out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her out. I think my, what if my OnlyFans are just pictures and videos of her? <laughs> How much to send me your address to pet? <laughs> um, ghostly, I don't know. You want to come pet my dog? Modern Warfare MP5 or MP7? MP7 is more fun than the MP5 in my opinion, so I'd just say MP7. They're, yeah, they're very easy to use, but the MP7 is at least more, like, more fun to customize in my opinion. It's more fun. Hug Shelby, baby. Aw. Give my address for free. I, why would you? All right, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you guys go because my dog needs to like go outside. I need to shower because my hair is greasy as hell. And this wasn't a big stream, you know. No, it wasn't like this. Ain't one of those three hour long, four hour long, five hundred dollar fucking streams. No, but we had fun. I enjoyed talking to you guys. This was this was actually really cool. Um, I plan on, I'll try to stream something entertaining tomorrow if I can, if I have time. Twinkle Toes, that'd be perfect. Just send that over. I, I will, I will pet Shelby for you. How about this? You better donate or never pet her again. Fucking swear to you. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out and being cool. You guys are super awesome. I love you guys. Uh, I'll see you. Goodbye. Oh, and my final thoughts on Crossfire. For those of you watching after this has been live, it's pretty good.